Welcome to Conscious Creation with actress, author, and healer, Dee Wallace. If you want to take charge of your life, really take charge of your life, the next hour will be a fun, enlightening experience in creating the life you want. Whether it's money, health, success, or relationships, join Dee in celebrating the power of you and see your life expand into joyful creation. And now, here's Dee. Hi, everybody. It's Nadia Angelini again, subbing for D this week. I'm so excited to be back. I've seen a lot of you guys um, at the end of the year, which is awesome. So D will be back next week after Christmas. Um, so we will have a blast today, hopefully. So most of you know me already, but those of you that don't, I am Nadia Angelini, and you can um, check me out at intuitionbynadia.com. I've worked with D for many, many, many years, and um Hopefully, we will have a great time today. So um, as you guys know, normally what I do is I do a little channel for the collective group um, that whoever's listening today or whoever will listen in the future for any stuff um, that you guys need to hear. So because we're coming at the end of the year, um, a lot of kind of new year energy is coming in because oh, things tend to slow down energetically right now. People tend to like take a break in like the manifestation area and kind of start putting energy towards what we want the following year to really manifest. You, you know, it's a great time to assess what have I what have I learned this year? Who am I? How am I different this year? What's changed in my life this year? And also noticing what hasn't changed. You know, like wow, this is still this is still happening or this is still um, going on. So it's kind of a great motivational month, I find. So for this group, um, the themes I got for you um, was that this this last part of the month into January is a great time to really start soothing your heart, body, soul, and mind. And what they meant that by that for me was like a lot of like compassion and forgiveness energy. So this is a really good time to be forgiving of others and um, forgiving of yourself. Um, and really thinking about who do I choose to be. You know, I, I love the statement, you know, um, holding resentment is like drinking poison, expecting someone else to die, right? It, it's really understanding that all of our feelings are our, our responsibility, even how right we may be <laughs> and how wrong the other may be. Um, it is a really time of like starting the new year from a clean slate of really letting go of um, – Anything you still like, you're still, hold, still holding anger or resentment about, and you don't want to take that into the new year. Healing energy was really prevalent for this group um, in everyone's life. It just was like very prevalent. It's like everybody really has a lot of great healing energy going on, um, and it's a great time to kind of restore wellness. And what that means by that is like paying attention to how we're really caring for ourselves. Um, on the physical level as well as the spiritual level because, you know, meditating is self-care. You know, taking a long bath is self-care. Um, calling a friend and asking for help is self-care. So, you know, really being paying attention to these things. And also, on the other hand, um, for some of you in the group, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like the group is split. There's part of you, some of you that kind of overgive and then don't know how to give to self, and then there's others that become self-centered and then don't know how to give to others. And so find that balance within yourself because they're also telling me that it's a great time to use what you've learned and what you've gained in your wisdom and help uplift others with that. And I know so many of you are into the healing arts um, or at least walking into that path and finding that within yourself. But there's a lot of this group really being able to help people. So I just wanted to put that out there of being of service. Um, you know, it kind of gets you out of yourself sometimes, too. I find if I'm on my own head doing a session, I get aligned, and I feel so great just being of service to another person. Um, the other thing is that I want you guys to be aware of where you're choosing the same thing over and over again. You know, the definition of insanity is, you know, uh, trying the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. Um, I'm sure we've all heard that and we've all done it. So be conscious of where you're still kind of trying the same thing over and over again and thinking something else is going to happen when it's not happening. So that just came in for you guys. And lastly, um, this year just showed so much positive forward motion um, and kind of coming out of a time of restriction. It's like you guys are entering a stage of a new adventure and discovery, and it's scary, but it's really exciting. So use this, like, motivation. Like, motivation's in the air. 
So use this time to really focus and sit with yourself and get really clear on where you want to be because the energy right now is really supporting that. You're going to see doors open. You're going to see dreams manifest. And I want you guys to really look at things almost with like a childlike enthusiasm for this year. I almost want you to remember when we were kids and it was like, you didn't know it wasn't possible. And I want you to get back to that mindset of like, oh, yeah, that anything is possible mindset. This is not the time to allow fear to block you any longer. It's like they're really saying it's time to jump in and commit fully to, like, participating in your life. So I'm just really going to leave you guys with that message um, for those of you I don't get to on the personal calls because it's so important going into this new year with this positive intention. So I will get to as many of you as I can, and we will jump right in. Caller. Um, oh, look, my first caller is Jeannie from New York. Hi, Jeannie. Well, Merry Christmas Merry to Christmas. you and your wonderful family and the baby. Thank you. Thank you. And a so Happy New Year. Um, Nadia, my darling, what do you get about the injuries that I have sustained on both well, first the left foot and now in the right ankle? And, I, With, you know, I remember last time we discussed you not having the grounding, Um Viewing the grounding issue, right? Um, yeah, what, but I do that constantly. Right, no, I know you do. I'm just saying, do you, I, what I'm saying is that, do you feel like it's related to that? No. Okay, good. Because, well, the first thing they're showing me is you have to have patience with this. There is a physical sort of um, time frame on this. They're saying that, like, there is a sort of a physical issue that um, needs a little more time than you want it to take. <laughs> You know what I mean? Since um, last April. <laughs> I know, I know. So they're saying they are saying have patience, but the other thing is really committing to. I mean, what I'm getting is kind of hard. To, I'm, I'm, I'm hesitant to say this, but it's like, can you just say, "I really want to be here. I exist. I really want to be here." Can you say that for me? I really exist. I really want to be here. Okay, so I get a no when you say that, and I don't know why that is. So is there, is there something going on in your life right now that you don't want to feel or that you don't want to, that you are, like, almost rejecting? Not that I'm aware of, except okay, that so I have said, take me home, and I keep getting no. <laughs> right. Okay, so that I think there's that conflict in your energy of I want to be here, I don't want to be here. So that's why I think I get a no. It's like, you know, part of you, you are home. You know, you are home. And your soul is with you always. That vibration is acceptable to you always, as you know. Yes. Um, but, the, you know, the feet and the ankles are so much about being present in the physical body. So can you kind of uh, merge and ask your physical body to raise to the vibration of your soul? Will do. Um, because it's very, again, it's for you, you have all this other stuff, but it, it, it's all about you really committing to going, well, I'm here, and I'm going to have fun while I am here, and take me all this time, okay? <laughs> you know what I mean? I know. It's already begun. I've been asked to be, participate in this fantastic seminar, uh, Telesummit, with uh, oh, great. Norman Shealy and Lisa Barrett and a host of others. Well, that's I mean, awesome. So, yeah, yeah, it you, is it's awesome. The tweaking. It's the tweaking, Jeannie. It really, you know, like I said, you could live on that other plane really easily. <laughs> so for you, it's getting it into the body. I'll keep me here. Yes. Thank you, my darling. Bye-bye. You've got others. Bye-bye. God bless. Um, awesome. Love hearing from you, Jeannie. Um, so next up, another familiar, Dika from California. Hi, Dika. Hi, Nadia. Merry I Christmas. Merry Christmas. Twice in a <laughs> row, I got you. Uh, yeah. Uh, my my question is, um, once again, I'm going on something called Talent Link to look for an okay. agent. And this time I want to get a really good one, even if it's not through that channel. And I want to be in the right vibrational space to yes. do that so that my career happens. And number two, um, I, I got a cold for the first time in five or six years, and it happened just as I 
walked out of Starbucks. Uh, and I know that I was kind of angry and in combat mode when I went mm-hmm. in because I, 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 when they say, what is your name, I say, my name is Merry Christmas. And they're not putting that on their cups. And I'm feeling this, uh, you know, like Cornell now doesn't want to put up red and green on. Um, well, I, I- and so what I'm hearing from you, Dika, is you're allowing this sort of, um, you know, as Abraham would say, you're allowing this whole Christmas thing to them choosing not to acknowledge Christmas as a, you know, you're taking it on. Instead of, like, I'm choosing to celebrate Christmas, and that's okay, you know, whatever. What's hard is not allowing that to put you in the toilet. And what I'm hearing from you is you're like, I let it put me in the toilet. I let it lower my vibration. I allow, And it's, of course, okay to be angry or, you know, any social issue. I mean, if you get me started on the Planned Parenthood thing, I can't. So, you know, it's hard to get, you know, not get triggered. But what I'm feeling about you is two things. Number one, the cold is about you, um, again, it's an indicator of your vibration lower. So every time, or, and, and or it's time to stop and take care of yourself and realign. So whenever you get a cold, it's always like time to self-care, like I talked about in the beginning. It's like really taking that time to go, where's my vibration? What am I resentful about? What is the Merry Christmas thing really about? Is I don't feel like the world is celebrating with me. Okay. So when you don't feel like the world is celebrating with you, this goes in with the agent. You know, you are looking for someone who's going to celebrate you. And what they're saying to be really important to add in to what you really want in an agent is this kind of caring connection, this sort of, like, friendship connection, this sort of, like, love each other, trust each other connection that you really want to ask for in an agent. Uh, okay, yeah, I wrote that down. I wrote that down, and, and that's my intention. But sometimes I feel like I don't get – my intentions in my heart, you know. It, you're not feeling it in your heart? Yeah, I slip out of the love place. You know, and, I you slip know, out of the love place that's a lot. Where, where do you go instead? My head, you know. And what does and your I, head say? Uh, it's almost numb. My head okay. is like like armored and very numb. You know, I mean, well, I, I say my that, prayers and I, I continue. Well, I think that, yeah, this is the issue is, you know, what I'm feeling like, and this happens with a lot of people in, you know, the manifestation world, is we get so focused on, like, oh, I want to get what I want, that we forget that the feeling, that the really we're going after a feeling, that really our man, the manifestation is feeling good, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and I think that you got so focused on the physical that you get, you the feeling good gets lost in all the action. Yeah. So the way you can do that, and I always say this, is like the jumping, is sitting with your mind and going, what do you have to say? And like really stopping and being willing to take the time to listen to what the head has to say so that you can get back to the alignment, back to your intuition, back to, you know, okay, wait a second. I'm, th- I'm throwing a, you know, a fit over this Merry Christmas thing. Is that really where, where I want to go? Instead of I choose to celebrate regardless of whatever anybody else is doing. Uh, well, you know please, I mean? darling, thank you so much, and Merry no Christmas, you, you and too. everybody else. <laughs> Thanks, Tika. Bye-bye. Thank you, Nadia. Okay, and uh, another familiar voice, Mike from Connecticut. Hi, Mike. I'm starting to get to know all you guys now. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, hi, Merry Christmas and so forth. Hi, um, thank you. What is the highest uh, information coming through for me now? Okay. There might be. Yeah. Um, so there's, the, the first thing that comes up is two things, female energy and money. Okay? So so the female energy almost feels like um, it's weird because there's a female energy holding money and a male energy holding love. So it feels like these are the two aspects of you. And it's almost like typically I see a male energy holding money and a female energy holding love. So it's interesting that yours are different, if that makes sense to you, what I'm saying. Um, Okay. So it's almost like you go to manifest money with your female energy and you go to manifest love with your male energy. Okay. And they're telling you you kind of need both to do both. (laughs) There's like a split. It's almost like you go into... Around money, you go into, like, the receptive, which is good on one hand, but it keeps you from taking some action that you need to be taking right now. 
there's some action you need to be taking around money because it's caught, it's, they're showing me financial constraints uh, uh, around you, which is like because you're going, oh, I just, you know how some people can just like sit around and it's like, I'm just going to receive and it just comes to them. For you, there's a little, it's like you need to take some action. There's something you need to do out in the world to, to kind of uh, remedy this financial stuff. Okay. Do you have a further question about it? Do you want more discernment around that? Yes. Um, what else could you say about that? Okay. Well, it says that, you know, they're saying to me, like, you tend to, uh, again, this is very interesting to me because your mind is like a female energy. You have, like, a female mind, if that makes any sense to you, which normally um, with, men, with men, I see a little bit more of a compartmentalized kind of mind. With females, you see a kind of, like, Everything's connected, which is I, I always think is kind of advanced in a male because you kind of see this where both sides of the brain are really communicating with each other. But what happens is you kind of do what a woman does <laughs> is you get this sort of you get in circular spinning thoughts and you tend to overthink things. Um, and they're saying to me that you actually have a lot of power um, in your thoughts in the sense that. Some people can just think and think and think and they don't manifest that way. You actually manifest really well with your thoughts. Like you just, so you have to be really careful with where you're putting your energy and thought because they're saying they're showing me this like a magician thing. Like you're able to go poof and manifest when you think something negative really quickly. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, anything else around that for him? Anything else? Yeah, they're saying that you're right at the gate of something. Like you're right at the edge of really breaking through to a new space. And the last kind of piece is the financial crap. Of just like really getting getting past this again financial constraint are the words that they're giving me constraints. So, but they're saying that you got hundred percent ability to move past that in this time and very soon, like in the next three months. Anything else? Right? That's that's what I got for you today. Well, if if I may, one other question. Sure. Um, the la last time I was on, I asked you about my uh, daughter who is on the um, spectrum with yes, autism. Sure. I wonder if you have any further advice. Um, it's interesting. I feel her uh, – what's her name again? Sorry, her first name? Christina. Okay, I just want to make sure it's right. That's so funny. Um, uh, sorry, but it's Christina just with I, – I, for some reason, I've had like 17 Christinas come in in the past three days. <laughs> it's real weird. That's her name. Um, they're showing me her second chakra, which is really interesting because that's the chakra of feeling and emotion and kind of grounding on this earth. So it's almost as if um, I'm seeing her a little more grounded uh, on this earth. And she she feels a little more balanced to me. So I don't know what you've been doing, but I feel like she feels more balanced. Um, who is the – is there another male in her life besides you? Um. Not that I'm aware of, other than possibly a teacher in school. Okay. Um, it could be maybe a teacher in school because there's this sort of like um, someone she feels safe with. There's this sort of like male energy that's not you, that she's kind of like feels good around, and, and, and it could be a teacher. So that would make sense to me that it's a teacher. Overall, i got to tell you, she feels a lot better to me. I don't know what you've been doing or what's been happening, but she feels like she's more at peace in her energy than before, if that makes any sense. And I think you're doing everything great. I think you're doing I don't get anything that you're doing, like, wrong or better. Keep listening. Keep, you know, communicating from an emotional state. Keep feeling you know, when you're around her. Pay attention to how you feel instead of what you're thinking, um, those kind of things. But it feels like she feels more attuned with you, like you feel more attuned with her than you did before. Yes, I do, actually. Which is, and, and she feels that. That's great, man. I'm so happy to hear that. You know, she's, um, she's something else. She has to go up and greet everybody whenever we go out in public, and she um, it keeps greeting them until she gets a smile out of them, and she hugs many people. Uh, and makes you want she to is... I'm committed to raising your vibration. <laughs> you know, I'm committed. <laughs> I will raise your vibration. <laughs> I will make sure. That's, you that's her. Like then yeah. she, she's done that since she was in a baby carriage, too. I mean, it brings tears to my eyes because really, 
uh, she's our biggest teacher. You know, I, I definitely feel like your daughter is kind of the new energy, and she just refuses to be a part of our lower vibration. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's like, uh-uh, I'm not interested. <laughs> you know? Yeah, that's her. She's, um, it took her less than two hours to come out. It took her an hour and a half to be born. And, wow. Uh, she's been, like, no. Yeah, she just uh, moves which, where she wants to move to. And, well, you know, and it's like. You watch her and you learn from her because that she, she knows how to, that's what little kids do. That's what I was saying in the beginning, too, is reconnecting with our inner child that goes, I want that, I'm just going to go for it. I want that, I'm just going to go for it. It's a, it's a fearlessness in a way. And also, she doesn't have the self consciousness that we have of, you know, people pleasing and what other, other people's perceptions, she doesn't care. That's the, the gift of the spectrum, is the spectrum makes you not care about what other people think. That's the trap we all get stuck in, you know, the rest of us. And so that's yeah, the that's, issue is not caring about what other people think. Yeah, that's her. That's that's right on. Mm-hmm. She just She just, she has to wear loose, soft clothing and um, loose shoes, and uh, she just really couldn't care less about anything yeah. else. Awesome. Well, Mike, I'm so glad you called in. I do have to move on, but I'm glad we got to connect, and hopefully you got a gift for us today. I thank you very much. Thank you, Mike. Bye-bye. Um, next, I have Karen in Canada. Hi, wow, Karen. Thank you. Hi, Nadia. Thank you for taking my call. God bless all of you, and Merry Christmas. Thank you. How's it <laughs> My soul family, I love coming every Sunday to hear and be a part of this. This is beautiful. What do you think for me, hon? I'm sorry, you just cut out. Can you say that one more time? Just wondering if you, what would be the highest message? Can we see whatever I get for you? Sure, sure, sure. All right, for Karen. Karen. So the first thing is, there's three things. The first thing is, you definitely are, are, do you feel a little disconnected from the people around you in the sense that I'm not feeling intimacy around you, and I feel like that's something you want to bring in in the new year, of like those kind of real deep connections with people where you feel, there just feels like there's a little bit of, like you're so connected to your spirit right now, but it's, as a result, there's almost this like, imbalance in the outside in the physical world. Like I feel like, you want to take that spirit and bring it out into the world. And you are one of the people I was talking about of, like, really being of service and bringing that spirit out into the world, bringing what you've learned and your wisdom and that energy because you really have a lot of white light around, around you in your body, a lot of white light around your body. But they're saying it's almost like take that out into the world because you're kind of holding it within your being. And with that taking it out or willingness to take it out into the world, it's almost like, your cup fills, if that makes sense. Yes. Yeah, I'm feeling very disconnected in all my loving relationships. Nothing feels real anymore. And yeah, um, it's like the more I shine, the the more beat up I feel. So I pulled back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and those closest and I, to me, I love deeply, and I always I show up in love, and I and I attack and. I work in the public, and the more I shine and pray to shine, it seems like the more uh, I'll have, you know, I attract so many beautiful people. Um, right. But there's also the flip side. It brings out, um, I almost feel like it's someone trying to, like, that I'm, the more I shine, that the more I open myself up to be shut down because it feels like there's, you know, something wants to shut the light down, but I, that's why I pray to shine even brighter. But it's been a rough well, year. Yeah. Sure, and, and I want to I want to comment on that because I think that's an important thing that you just said, which is you know the more we open, because the more light we have, the more kind of vulnerable we are in a way. Um, but at the same time, like you know when you look at people like Gandhi, like Martin Luther King, like you know Abraham Lincoln, you know you look at people that really were like I'm going to choose to be something that the world isn't ready for, kind of thing. Yeah. And, you know, Dee and, I, Dee and I have talked about this before, and what you'll notice is that every time you feel that fear of, you know, every time we attract somebody kind of attacking us, it's because we still have the belief that we're not safe when we're in the light. And so the big thing is going, I'm really going to 
know that I'm safe being in the light. The light is what protects us because the truth is when you're in a real high vibration, you can't attract the lower vibration. You're not a match. Do you see what I mean? So because you're still attracting this, it's because that belief of I'm not safe or I'm alone when I'm in the light, is you, that's what needs to be cleared. Okay. That's beautiful. Because, because the vulnerability is what makes us strong. Because, you know, I tell people that when we're really vulnerable, because I, I feel very, you know, it's very, I come on the show and I really open my heart to all of you and I hope that you all feel that. Um, and I bring my vulnerability because that's what, so that way if I make a mistake or if I do something wrong or if I'm like, oh, I don't like what I, or mm, I'm not feeling that, or I, I have to be true to myself and, some people aren't going to like that, and that's okay, you know, because I can stay balanced when I'm being true to myself. When I go out of balance is when I know I'm not being true to myself. Do you know what I'm saying? So, like, if you give yourself up, then we get resentful because I'm not being true to Nadia. So I think that continuing to be true to you and looking for, I always say, help me see the God in everyone. Help me see the God. Help me see the light in every person because when I see it in them, they are able to see it in themselves. And so that's part of your gift, too. <laughs> I, that's one of my favorite gifts. I, I am aware of that one. Yeah, and it's a huge one because people don't see it, and then all of a sudden we become a mirror. But I've climbed mm-hmm. and said, well, I see the real you, and that's the biggest gift you can give to a person. But you have to start, let, just clear that, and you can do it when we get off the phone. It's just clear that belief that you're not safe in the life because you are. I and mean, you're supposed to help people at this point, and you are one of those people that they were talking to me about in the beginning. Thank you. Thank you, Karen. <laughs> Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye. Love you. Love you. Love you, group. You guys are so amazing. Okay. Oh, and up from New York, you are next. Hi. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Hi. Happy New Year, and congratulations thank on the baby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so how can I help you? What's the highest for me? Uh, message? Mm-hmm. <sighs> right now. So, uh, wow. Okay, so a couple things. Um, one, there, you need to, like, rest. Okay? <laughs> so, like, your energy feels a little drained. Like, it's like you're really, you're pumping on fumes, but you're going, you're still going, but it's like any minute now, you could kind of, like, you just, I really feel like that in the beginning when I was talking about self-care, you're yeah. the kind of person that needs to go to stuff. You don't need to go out in the world. You need to go to self right now, to self-care, okay? okay. Um, they do show me a healer energy around you. I don't know what you're doing with that, um, but then they also show me a kind of um, trouble in male relationships in the romantic sense, okay? <laughs> so I don't know if you want to talk about that. <laughs> um, sure. Or, okay, so... So do you have a specific question about that? Because that's kind of what they're showing me is like your real question. So my question is, is is there someone out there that I'm going to meet? Because it hasn't happened in a few times. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, this is, you know, I love that the, the soulmate thing is kind of like my area of achievement. So you still have kind of a negative attachment to the old idea of what a relationship is. Um, you know? Go ahead. Sort of, sort of strange, strange um a belief that, you know, no matter who I'm going to meet, there's still me as part of the relationship. So if I'm attracting what doesn't benefit me like I have in yes. the past. Right. So you're afraid you go, I'd rather attract nothing than what I'm attracting in the past. Because, you know, I always say joke with people because, you know, uh, one of my fellow dealer friends, we always joke, we're like, I'm so afraid to let in, you know, something because I'm like, what if I miss something in my energy and I get a mess? <laughs> yeah. And I feel like that same thing with you. Um, yeah, they no. are, they're all showing me be patient with yourself because there is a little bit of wounding that still needs, it's like you need to tread really slowly. Um, I do see a male relationship for you, but I want you to consciously invite it in. <laughs> okay? And that's, it's like once you invite it in, and I think that you're afraid to invite it in. <laughs> yeah. But I'm seeing it for you. I'm seeing, like, door to romance. Like, but you need a kind of soft spirit that's really going to let you go slow in a relationship and really be willing to go, wow, let me really be in a relationship where we're both owning our stuff. 
Mm-hmm. Where I can go, like, I'm scared, and I'm afraid, you know, this is what's coming up for me. I don't think, I, I, what I'm getting is you're not going to attract what you attracted before. Oh, good. Um, you have, but you need to invite in the new energy. And you do have a little bit of that um, that belief that, I hate this belief, it's such a nasty one. You have a little bit of that belief of it happens for other people and not for me. Yes. Okay, so you've got to let that go, too. Okay. <laughs> okay, so those of you, invite them in. And know that it's going to be different and release that it is for you. And you absolutely have someone looking for you in this life, 100%. So what's his name? Yeah, I mean, like, I literally just saw, and it's so funny when this happens, like, I literally just saw the angel of love came in. You just need to invite it in. You need to invite him in right now. Like, in Come you. on in. Like, when we get off the phone, I just literally want you to sit and be like, I'm willing to bring that love into my life. Okay. Because he's in your escrow. <laughs> like for sure, for sure. Okay. Very exciting. Keep me posted on that. I love hearing about that stuff. So. Thank you. All right, thanks, Anna. All the best. Thanks. Bye. 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 Okay. Um, moving on, I have Linda from Minnesota. Hi, Linda. I don't know that we've spoken before. Oh yes, we have. We have maybe a while, not in the last two shows, for sure. Um, yeah, I think the last time that you were on. Really? Oh, my gosh, I'm crazy. Okay, so yeah. it reminds me. Um, well, um, the last time we came on, it, it came up around my insecurity around romance, money, and um, doing my healing work. Okay. And today... Well, um, your energy feels very different to me, which is probably why I didn't recognize you. Oh. Which is, which is a good thing. Uh, well, I'm... Like, yeah, I'm kind of torn between, I mean, I definitely want information for my highest good. Um, I'm also in a season of grief around my relationship with my son because he doesn't want yeah. anything to do with me, and so we're not doing Christmas right. together. Yeah, and, you're, you're telling me that there is going to be a continued sort of tension with you guys right now. Yeah. Um, and And really giving him the space to allow him to feel that, feel what he needs to feel and come to you when he's ready. And I always, again, always advise people, when you cannot deal with people on this plane, dealing with them on the soul level is really helpful because you'd be amazed at how much how much it works. So every night before you go to bed, send him light, send him love, tell him you love him unconditionally. He will get that energy, okay? So okay. don't stop. Don't try not to go into self-pity. And, and listen, of course, it's painful. I mean, I, I, I cannot It's so that, painful. But it's, it's so painful. painful. But you need, and they're telling you, you need to reach out for help around this with with a community. You need yeah. to go because, you know, what you're going through, what I'm feeling around, there's so many feelings around this that, you know, there's shame, there's fear, there's insecurity, there's um, loss, there's grief, there's fear that this is always going to be the way it's going to be. And it's not always going to be like this, but it is going to be like this for a little while. He, he's definitely a little stubborn. <laughs> yeah, I wonder where he gets that. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, so, but every day, send him that healing energy. Tell him how you want you really write out how you want your relationship to be because you can manifest it. Because believe it or not, you want the same thing. Yeah, you know, I hope. Yeah, because way. because I mean this this year of. Of you know this year of estrangement, it was you know preceded by years of him dumping and dumping and dumping, and this right. thing has just like put me into a whole, a whole life like review. It's his, it's his stuff too. It feels like he's been. It's almost like he's pushing you away because you're you kind of magnify what he doesn't want to see in himself. Does that make sense? Like you're a reflection of what he doesn't want to see in himself, and. This is what you know. So it's almost like, uh, I, you know, I got to, I got to be honest with you. I, my brother is doing this exact same thing to my mother right now, um, and it's so painful for her. Yeah. But it's so clear that it's his stuff. But it's, my mom is really upset because all she wants is to help him, but he, she can't. He needs to help himself. And right. what they're showing me around this is it's not a physical. You need to literally give him the space to come back to you, and he will. He will yeah. find his way back. He will find his way back. Um, but he needs to kind of isolate himself so he can realize it's his shit. <laughs> yeah, that he's been sitting you know in for saying? a while. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. He's to be the victim. And then he, and you're going, no, don't be the victim. And he can't not be the I victim. I know. 
and, and so you can't save him, but he needs to see that, like, once you remove all these other people, that it's him. You know what I mean? That he's still in the shit. And so clearly he's the common denominator. He just hasn't gotten there yet, and it's going to be a little while. So send him love. Send him light. Every day tell him that you love him and that you're there for him. You know, see angels around him. All that kind of work every day will really bring peace to your soul, and it will really help him. That's the best way you can help him right now. Okay, and that'll help me, too, because, like I said, I've been in this major life review my whole life, too, and it's like, well, <laughs> you know. Well, and it's just forcing you to sit with yourself and really feel your feelings. It, I have really been feeling my feelings. And it's actually, I'm, I'm telling you, a huge healing for you. It makes me want to cry because it, it's actually a really good thing for you. And okay. You're really ready to bring in some new support system around you, so be open to that. Okay. 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 Oh, Can you yes. give me anything... Uh, for the new year, you know, for me to, yeah, this you know. Yeah, what they're saying. Be open to possibilities you haven't thought of. So so they're showing me, like, ten different open doors. So just go open all the doors to me that I need to see, the, the doors to my highest joy, the or doors to my highest peace, the doors, whatever it is that you want to create. Don't get specific. With the, with you with your son, you can get specific, but with um, what you want to open up for you, it's almost like you need to give it over to the universe because you tend to limit yeah, what you're open to. And so, yes, yeah, so I want you to go, I'm open to whatever's going to bring me joy and uplift me and bring me to my highest purpose, like really general. Okay. Okay. Thanks Thank so you, much. my darling. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, I'm totally going to brutalize this name, so hopefully. Is it Joellen in Indianapolis? Yeah, you got it. Yes. Thanks for uh, Thanks for <laughs> taking my call. <laughs> no problem. How can I help you? Um, well, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and all the Thank good stuff. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, um, so I am. Uh, I've been in um, pursuit of a good job, a creative job. So, Great. Um, okay. do you have any information of uh, what my angels and and God says around, I, around I career? Well, yeah. What what do I need to be doing? Am I am I doing the right stuff? I feel like I'm sending out. I'm saying my prayers and sending out good energy. Yeah, you're uh, doing. Feel like vibrationally you are. They are showing me that that you're doing stuff, but it is a little disconnected from your emotions. So tell me how you want to feel in this new job. Well, um, what I keep asking for is um, a place where I can be creative where I'm working with good people, where I'm happy, um, that I'm financially so, stable and abundant. Right, and right. So, so how do you want, how does it feel when you think about having that job? Um, it feels like I'm on my career path. That's what I, I really want is that I just want to feel like, all right, this is it. I'm home. Okay, so there it is. So, so that's what I was ready to get to is like um, your, your tendency is to get uh, – like um, analytical about things and in your head. So for you, it's just like, I want to feel like motivated. I want to feel enthusiastic about my life. I want to feel excited to wake up in the morning and go to work. I want to feel, do you see what I'm saying? Instead, yeah. I want to feel like I'm on my career path. That's not activated. You feel the difference? Okay. Yeah. You feel the difference? So, so that's where you're disconnected. It's kind of like you're kind of doing it on one level, and it's like needing that deeper level. I want to feel excited about my life. Yeah. I want to. I want to be a service to people. I want to be using all of my gifts and talents. I want to yeah. be confident and powerful. Okay. I want to be, feel supported. I want to feel free. So, so I want you to focus more on the feeling aspect as opposed to like what it's going to manifest as. The other thing is there is a little bit of belief that you're not going to be able to do it all or have it all as far as balancing your because you have really good spiritual time right now. You really. Good I have time. what really good uh, time to do your spirituality. And it's almost like a belief of like, oh, I'm not going to be able to stay balanced once I'm in the career. So just let go of that right now. Of, you know what I'm saying? Of, um, and be willing to start a new adventure and know that literally when they're telling you every aspect of your life is going to change than it is now, and there's a little bit of resistance to that. It's like you're going to start a whole new journey. And it is, I do feel like it is happening this year. Oh, good. Phew. Um, yeah, it does feel like it's happening this year, so, because it's close, you know, and again, they give me time really weird, so I always say, because they're saying be patient in the first half of the year, okay, so it could be in the second half of the year, but they're saying be patient with yourself, but don't beat yourself up that it's not here or yesterday kind of thing, and um, 
So what are you doing on a daily basis to kind of feed the creativity? Um, well, I'm, you know, I'm concerned about uh, being uh, trained enough because um, I'm a designer, and so okay. I'm, I'm taking these online classes to get myself up to gear. Totally. Um, now, I love what you just said. What you just said is such a great indicator because you're going, I still don't believe. It's like I'm not ready. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you this. I've been doing this now, what I do now, for 12 years, and I, like, got thrown into it by Dee when I was 23 years old. And Dee was like, just go. And I was like, wait, I'm not ready. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And you just have to go. And you kind of learn as you go and, and be willing to jump in and make mistakes and trust the instinct because really – what I'm doing in creative work, my mom's an interior designer, it's all channeling. You're yeah, that's what I tools, figured. But then you're going to channel it anyway. It's like, you know, I have a master's degree in clinical psychology, and sure, it's like it's great to have it, but I really use the channel much more than I use that. Well, you know what? And that's what <laughs> yeah. I totally, that's what I totally feel. And I feel like, though, um, you know, some people want to see other stuff on my resume, and it's like, you don't get it. Everyone learns on the job. You but know, it's is, like if you believe you need that, once you start knowing that you don't need the resume, it's not going to matter. Okay. You see what I mean? But you still think it matters. When you don't think it matters anymore, it won't matter. Okay. So bring me to people where I can bring joy and um, uplift their home with my work. You know what I mean? Whatever it is, however you want to put it that way. and Or do a friend's home, take pictures. Bring those. You know what I'm saying? And, and there's creative ways that you can um, do that stuff. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Sure. You know, I I do have one other question. If it's okay sure. with you. Sure. Sure. My my sister, she loves her husband, and he's going through. Uh, he's he's an alcoholic, and she's just dealing with all that. Uh uh-huh. do, do you do you see a light coming with? Her husband? No, I don't. I don't feel like he really wants to be sober. Mm. I feel like he'll do the minimum right now. Um, I, I, I just, I don't, and, and again, this is just his energy today. This could change tomorrow. I'm just telling you where he is today. Um, it and what can we do? Like, there's nothing you can do. There's one thing you need to know with addicts is you're powerless. He needs to choose it for himself. And all you can do is go, I don't choose to be around this energy when you're drinking. I don't choose to be around you when you're in your addiction. That's all we can do because we love you, we support you, and when you want to get clean and when you want to deal with these issues, we are here for you. But until then, so, I, really need to, I need to remove myself from you. That's so the in the meantime, way just to help. pray for his angels to help him then? Yes, see him with guys and angels and, and, and again, see him safe and protected, and, but he needs to choose it. Thank you. Okay. I hope that's helpful. <laughs> right. It is. Thank Everything you said today was very helpful. Thank you oh, so good. much. Okay. And, and okay. blessings right back at you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, oh, Kathy in Hawaii. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Nadia. Merry Christmas and Happy New Thank Year. Thank you. <laughs> well, so most of you called just to wish you happy holidays, but since you're since – you're, here and I'm here. Um, anything that you can enlighten me on as far as uh, being the manifester I used to be, I guess, or whatever you Yeah. Think. <laughs> um, so, you know, Kathy, that heart of yours, man, I told I think this came up for us last time we spoke. Um, it it did. Familiar. You literally, you keep shutting it down. Why do you do that? You need to keep it open. <laughs> Well, okay, so this morning I was actually thinking about that. I'm going, what is going on? I keep, because every morning after I talk to you, I said, okay, I, you know, release all this. I invoke the violet flame to, like, transmute right. it all. And, and, but and the golden it, it still, it, it still feels, like you said, it's like, what is, what is it? What, and I'm going, you know, okay, I'm choosing like to release this. But, there's something you don't want to feel, because they're showing me that, that, that third chakra where your their power center is. It's like, that whole center from your heart all the way down to your stomach, this whole center tends to get blocked. So so is there something that you don't want to feel? And I and, and what it feels like to me is it's so interesting and I totally relate to this, is like you it's almost like that that part of us and I'm sure everyone on the 
on the line and felt this way, but it's like, well, what if I can't do it? What if I, what if I, what if it's not real? You know, what if, what if I'm lying to myself? Do you know what I'm saying? Wow. Deep, deep. Um, and we yeah. are like, no, 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 I know, I know, no, no. But that part of you is going to be willing to go, like I said, it's there and being willing to go, oh, my gosh, that doubt is there. Let me look right at it so that your knowing can kind of take over and go, no, that's not true. But until you look right at it, it's still in there. Okay. Yeah, this is for, like, everybody in this group. <laughs> I think um, that that little bit of, like, what is this manifestation stuff is bull. You know, I mean, like, that little piece. Like, what if I'm not really powerful? What if that greatness isn't real? What if I'm lying to myself? All that kind of self-talk, just look right at that because that's what's keeping you from really doing that next pop of manifestation. It's also keeping you, you're shutting down the heart because you're going, I don't want to look at that. I, I'm going to pretend it's not there. But when you look right at it, you'll see it'll, it'll dissipate pretty quickly. Wow. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> you make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, it can be. I always say when you look right at things, it can be really easy. When you're like, okay, I know what to do. So sit down with that feeling and write about it and see what comes out and be willing to fully release that. And that's all you have to do. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. Thank you. <laughs> well, happy holidays. Thank you Thanks. so much, Nadia. Yeah. No problem. I think I may only have time for one more. So um, I have um, maybe two. But we'll see if I can get to it. Um, I have Anya from North Carolina. Hi, Nadia. Is that right? It is Anya. Yes, yeah, nice to meet great. you. Hi, we haven't spoken Thanks. before. Greetings in no, the season. Hi. Um, hopefully we can do this in the time we have. I have two issues that I'm wondering if they are if they are related. Um okay. one throat chakra. Um third chakra. And, third chakra. Yeah, throat chakra stuff. And okay. um the second is I keep on getting messages about just allowing myself to have fun. Okay. Um as as far as the throat chakra thing is concerned, it's like I get chastised for speaking at the wrong time or saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. And then on the on the other hand, on the other side of that, is I don't speak up for myself when I don't right. use the word right. should or could because sure. of causing upset or confrontation or hurt so, feelings. So, again, again, the as you believe is delivered to you. So your belief is when I speak my truth, I'm shamed. Right. My truth, I hurt people. Okay. Okay. So those are the core beliefs that you're holding that keep manifesting that. Okay. Okay. Instead of when I speak my truth, I'm honored. When I speak my okay. truth, I'm celebrated. When I speak my truth. Now, what ends up happening is it's almost like, I think, first of all, I think yay for you because I feel like you've done a push through of learning to speak your truth a lot more than you used to. Yes. So True. It used to be worse. True. <laughs> now. True. Um, no, it's just, the, it's just being consistent with it. And, and uh, I'm sorry, if you don't mind giving me your, your birthday, just the, the month and the day. My what, please? Your birthday, the month and the day. Oh, 1229, December 29th. Okay, great. Yeah, you're, so you're Capricorn. Uh, so I'm just, I was just feeling like, you know, you're, you have a lot of opinions, okay? Yes, and I you do. You have a lot of yeah, so, so <laughs> really being willing to, um, you know, and happy almost birthday, but really being willing to go read the room. Because what has been happening now is you're caught between that thing of like, you know, oh, I really have something to say about that. I'm going to put, you know, I'm going to speak my truth. You know what I mean? So it's right, right. coming out with a little bit of a push because you're not used to speaking your truth from a really balanced, secure place. You see, so it's almost like you're defensively speaking your truth because you're already expecting people to attack you. Right. Well, I was in I was in a, a, a marriage where I I couldn't speak. I just stuffed because well, it would yeah, always turn into a crazy making conversation. So I was trained just to shut up. Yeah, and so you're retraining yourself right now, and retraining is is, is it's almost like you know. Why do I say this? Like you just have to get it out. Right. <laughs> Right, it's finding a balance, yes. It's finding a balance of being able to go, you know, when we're really clear about things, like, so, for example, you know, um, I am not a, you know, I am not a big Christian. I believe in the Christian principles. I believe in God. I believe in being kind to others and treating others and being service to people. I believe in all those principles. But I don't believe that there's anything wrong with being gay. I do not believe, that, you know, I don't believe in any of that stuff, okay? Right. Um, but... 
there are a lot of people who do. And I'm okay. I can stand a wow. You know, I don't see your point of view, but I can see my truth, but I don't believe in that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm sorry. I can right. stand in right. agreement with that without pushing it and also allowing other people to be in their truth. If that's someone's truth, I can't change their truth. You know what I mean? Right. But the more I hold to mine, the more I hold that support that energy. You know what I mean? Right. So can right. you find peace with your own truth? Can you find that place within you where you can go, I'm okay that this is me? And because I really don't feel like you're going to attract people attacking you anymore once you're, once you're balanced. But you have a strong personality, and it can come out with a bite when you're not balanced. Right. And so then people feel defensive because you're scared still to speak up. I also feel that there's like an impulsivity piece yes, in there. Yes, 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 yes. Well, you have um, and I don't know how to control the room. that. Well, you first you stop, you breathe, and you feel the energy of the room, and go like, do you know? I always say, think before you speak. You're just at that place right now where you need to think before you speak, and then that'll shift really quickly. It's almost like a little bit of training wheel, you know? Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, and, we have to wrap it up. Okay. Well, All you. right. Thank you, Nadia. I appreciate that. Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. Um, you guys, it has been incredible being with you today. Um, I'm so sorry I couldn't get to everyone. I always wish I could get to everyone. Um, I will be starting my own show in January. Um, if you want to be on my mailing list and find out about that, you can email me at intuitionbynadia.com, I mean, at gmail.com. And um, my website is intuitionbynadia.com, and that also has all my information. I want to wish you guys an amazing Christmas, a happy new year, and I will hopefully speak to you in a new year. Thanks so much for having me today. Thanks for joining Dee on Conscious Creation. Visit her website at imdwallace.com for awesome downloads, archived shows, enlightening webinars, and amazing free offerings. Be sure to join us next week for Conscious Creation with Dee Wallace. And remember, loving yourself is the key to creation. Creation.